from Forex Traders Daily. This is your daily analysis with Ross Mullins, live from Richmond, Virginia. Hello, everyone. This is today's video analysis for March 2nd, 2016. In a moment, we'll be taking a look at the EURUSD, the euro versus the US dollar for today's trade analysis. But first, a recap of a couple of the trade suggestions made over the past few days, either here in the morning analysis video or in the live trade room. Starting here on the NZD USD, the New Zealand dollar versus the US dollar, we've been concentrating on looking for opportunities to sell this currency pair. Earlier this week, uh, starting with the open on Sunday, and then on Monday, we saw the market push down underneath the 0 0.6600 level, pushed underneath there, opening and closing underneath 6600, giving us hope that we were looking for the final breakout of our range that we've been looking at for the past several weeks, this blue box that you see here on the daily time frame, that larger range, giving us some hope that we were looking for the breakout underneath the 6600 level and a continuation now uh, back down here for the New Zealand dollar. But uh, it was a short-lived breakout. The market turned back above and even pr pressuring all the way back up into the mid-6600, 6660 or so, the orange shaded area here, and the midpoint of our larger range. Well, the same thing still happens today. I don't think the, the situation has not changed here for this pair. We're still looking for the breakout of this box, either to the bottom side or the top side, it's gotten back inside the range, back above or inside the yellow shaded area. So the next thing, again, that we're looking for, if we're looking to sell it, we're selling resistance, which again is the orange zone, or the breakout, again, underneath the yellow zone. Uh, on the opposite side, of course, if you're looking for some upside here for this currency pair, the yellow zone has proven to be support down around 65.90 to 66.15 has proven to be support. So if you're looking for buying opportunities, uh, continue to look for it here. I think fundamentally uh, we would expect a, eventually a breakdown of this current uh, of this box in this range and a continuation lower. But uh, for those of you considering buying opportunities, the yellow zone becomes that. I'm still focused on selling, looking for the eventual breakout underneath 66 and a continuation continuation lower for the New Zealand dollar. Over here on the AUD USD, of course, this currency pair is similar, but not exactly the same. We've been studying the downtrend, long-term downtrend here for the Australian dollar over the past several months. And of course, we've been in basically a period of congestion. If I was to draw a box here on this chart, like I did over there on the uh, New Zealand, I think we're looking somewhere in this area. And let me change this to a rectangular box here. I'm going to make the, the lines black so we're easy to see. I think we're looking in this area right here where the market's been ranging between the blue, orange, and yellow shaded area. Last week, we took two opportunities to sell up here at the yellow shaded area, made substantial profit as it pushed all the way back down here to the blue shaded area. Made about a 50% retracement of last Friday's run back here into the orange zone. So, of course, we took a sell into the orange zone. Market had a little bit of a different idea. We did have, we do have a lot of news out of Australia this week, and the market pushed a little bit above it. So we're coming back into our main resistance level of our range and period of congestion, the yellow shaded area, 72.45 to 65. Again, I think this is the spot to watch. If you're looking to go short, this is it right here at the yellow shaded area, as close as possible to 72.40, which of course is the same area where we sold it a couple of times last week and we're able to capitalize on over 100 pips of profit two times here for the Australian dollar. So we're back into that area again. Let's look for opportunities to sell into the 7240s once again targeting the orange or the blue shaded area all the way back down. We know what the risk is. The risk is, of course, a breakout back above that yellow shaded area. Taking a quick peek at the US yen continues to be bullish. I think we're looking for the breakout now above 114.25 today before we look for the continuation higher. US CAD, oil prices, hitting a main area of resistance so we see the the uh, US CAD making a little bit of a rally higher watch for a bump into the resistance zone all the way up here at 135.30 today GBP USD we're looking for opportunities to go short and sell into resistance uh, here on this currency pair we are at the resistance zone right now we're at that 1.4000 1.4020 level right now so if we're looking for an opportunity today I think staying under within or under the yellow zone becomes your opportunity to go short and target, of course, the, the lower support level, the blue shaded area. Only a breakout of the yellow zone do we look for the next targets back up towards the 1.4100 level and the 
the pink shaded area. So definitely an er interesting area to watch here into the low 4000s for the GBP USD today. One quick peek at the US franc four hour time frame. Look at this little triangle pattern that we see developing, a little consolidation or a contraction pattern here. I think we're looking for a breakout. Specifically, if we're looking for it to go higher, it needs to break out above 1.0 in the parity level. And then we look for the continuation of what has been an uptrend here for the US franc for a little while. On the other side, the risk, of course, is that it breaks under the green zone, under that triangle pattern, and goes lower uh, and starts to reverse the trend. So really, we need to break out of this congestion zone, which leads us on over to here, here to the euro dollar. Uh, most importantly here on the daily time frame, I want you to see this black box over here on the left-hand side or closer towards the middle of the chart. This black box right here, we were inside that black box as a zone of congestion or range between January 7th. January 7 all the way through February 2nd. So nearly a month we saw the market bouncing around here inside this black box. Why is that important? Because that's where we are right now. We're in that same zone above the green zone or below the orange zone right now. So now that we're sitting on top of that green shaded area, we would expect some support, just like what we see over there on the left hand side. We expect support right around 108.50, 108.20. So the biggest part about that is you just don't want to go short right now. Selling right now doesn't become a profitable scenario because we're at support. This is a brick wall in the market, this green shaded area just above the 108.20 level. So don't go short now. So when do you go short? Obviously, the market's been going down. There's some bearish sentiment here for the currency pair. When do you go short? Well, we would go short when it breaks underneath the green shaded area. Open and close underneath, then we might look for it all the way back down here to the blue zone into the mid to low 1.0700s. Why would we look for it there? Well, that's where the market goes the last time we were here. And over here on the left-hand side above the blue zone went to the green zone. So we have a free space between the green and the blue shaded area, about 100 pips between there. So a breakout under the green zone, we sell towards the blue zone. Until it does that, we're waiting for new opportunities. Maybe even a rally back up in here towards the orange shaded area, just like it did back here in the black box. I think the yellow zone right in the middle uh, a little bit uh, higher risk there and I'm not really to take a trade here at the yellow shaded area so for me it needs to either go back up to the orange shaded area which is all the way back up here into the mid 10900s or break through the green zone before we look to go short now on the opposite side of the fence if you're considering buying scenarios here you're probably there right now. In between 108.20, 108.50, then you're looking for buy scenarios. Take it down to the four hour time frame. Look at what the market's been doing so far this week. Just consolidating, contracting here. Between that little yellow shaded area and the green shaded area, we're looking at 108.80 down to 108.50. So we're not really a lot of space between the yellow and the green zone. Tough to trade the euro dollar right now. So again, I think it's better suited right now. If you're looking to trade the euro, you'd rather it go higher, of course, likely back up here to the orange zone, or break underneath the green zone before you go short again. If you're looking to go long, your risk, of course, is that it breaks 108.20 and goes lower. So if you're looking to go long here at the green zone, is an opportunity to do so. Risk is underneath. I'm concentrating on going short here, but definitely watching this over the next several days, especially as we go into Friday with non-farm payrolls out of the U.S. From Forex Traders Daily, this has been your daily analysis with Ross Mullins. If you would like to get Ross's analysis on all the currency pairs he's watching and all the trades he takes today, join him in his live trade room by clicking on the link below. Please leave any comments you have about today's video in the comments section below.